Hello, this is CJ Hoyle, and in this video I'm going to demonstrate how to lubricate the cables on a bicycle. Many modern bicycles use cables like these for applying the brakes and shifting speeds. Many bicycles have sections like this where the cables are exposed, but they also have sections like this where the cable goes inside of this flexible tubing, which is called cable housing. As the cable slides inside the cable housing, there's always some amount of friction between those two parts. Whenever replacing one of these cables, I always recommend applying some chain lube to it before installing. However, over time you might find that this lubricant has started to gradually dry out and your cables don't run as smoothly as they used to. For example, you might have to squeeze harder on the brake lever than you used to to overcome this additional friction. When this happens, re-lubricating the cable might be all that's necessary. However, it's a bit more tricky to do now because large sections of the cable are now enclosed inside of the cable housing. You could try undoing the cable back here and threading the cable all the way back through all the pieces of cable housing, but I really don't recommend doing that. The pinching method which is used for fastening the ends of cables cause the cable to deform, so if you remove the cable and try to re-thread it back through, it might get caught and frayed. A much better option is to leave the cable fastened in place, but to reposition the pieces of cable housing to different points along the cable so that you can apply lubricant to all parts of the cable. The procedure for this is slightly different from one bike to another, but the concept is always the same. For a rear brake cable, this can be done by disengaging the rear brake. If the bike has V-brakes, this is done by pulling this rubber boot out of the way, squeezing the two brake arms together, and maneuvering this noodle piece so that the cable is able to pull up through this slot here and separate like that. So from the noodle, if you follow the piece of cable housing that's next to it, you'll find that it meets a point on the frame here, and these things here are called cable stops. The slack that we created by disengaging the brakes should allow you to be able to take this piece of cable housing and pull it out of that cable stop there and let the cable fall down like that. Closer towards the front of the bike, this piece of cable goes through another cable stop, and you should now be able to pull this other piece of cable housing out of this cable stop as well. So now with this rear brake cable completely disengaged from the cable stops, I'm able to take this long piece of cable housing up here at the front and slide it all the way to the back, which will expose this long section of cable, which otherwise had been covered up before. Using some standard chain lube and a rag, I'm going to put some drops on here and spread some lubricants all along this section of the cable. So after this front part has been lubricated, I can now shift this piece of cable housing back up to the front, being careful to position this cable housing into the end of the brake lever here. And now I can apply lubricant to this middle section in the same way that I did to the front. Next I'll pull this short section of cable housing away from the noodle, which will expose this long section of cable, and I can do the same thing with the lubricant. And finally, the noodle and the rubber boot can also be shifted forwards, exposing this last little section of cable here. So now with this cable fully lubricated, I can put everything back where it's supposed to go, starting with this piece of cable housing up here, so separating the two apart and putting this piece of cable housing into its cable stop in here like that. Then I can shift everything towards the back, put this piece of cable housing into its cable stop over here. And finally I can re-engage these V-brakes by squeezing the two arms together and putting this piece of cable so that it goes through the slot so the noodle is able to fit inside of there like that. And now with that lubricant applied, when I squeeze on the brake lever, it feels a lot easier to squeeze than it was before. A similar procedure can also be done for the shifter cables which control the front and rear derailleur. In my experience, this usually works best when the bike has been shifted into its lowest gear ratio. So if you haven't already done so, I recommend getting back on the bike and riding around and shifting so that you're in the largest sprocket at the back and the smallest sprocket up at the front. So I'm going to start by doing this for the cable which controls the front derailleur. And that cable over here you can see connects to the derailleur down here and comes up and goes through this cable stop and into a piece of cable housing. So there's no way of disengaging a derailleur but what you can do, however, is you can shift it into a different position, which is going to give it more slack. So you can see if I take this arm for the front derailleur and I pull it out away from the bike, like so, it creates some slack in the cable here. 
So if I squeeze on this, with the slack here, I'm able to use my hand and I can maneuver this piece of cable housing out of its cable stop like that, and then I can let it go. So now with one end of that piece of cable housing free, I can grab on this cable housing and pull it back. And the front section of cable housing can also be taken out quite easily. And now just like I demonstrated for the brake cable, I'm able to take this front section of cable housing and slide it all the way to the back, which will expose this front section, which you can apply lubricant to. Then you can slide this back in place and apply lubricant to this middle section here. And finally, I can shift this back piece of cable housing all the way to the front and apply lubricant to this back section of the cable here. Putting it all back together is pretty self-explanatory. This front section of cable housing goes into the cable stop at the front of the frame up here like so. This back section of cable housing is slid back and is inserted into the frame and the cable stop back here. And to get the other end of that piece of cable housing into its cable stop, I pull on the front derailleur towards myself to create the slack that's needed, redirect that into that cable stop there like so, release it, and now that cable has been installed back where it's supposed to go after I had finished lubricating it. The procedure for doing the same for the rear derailleur is even easier to do because I shifted my chain so that it's in its largest sprocket. To create the slack that's needed, all I need to do is shift the shifter, which is for the rear derailleur, into the position which corresponds with the smallest sprocket, or in other words, the highest speed. With that slack created, I can now take this piece of cable housing, pull it out of its cable stop, do the same for this middle section of cable housing, pulling it out from there, and then also pulling it out from back here. And then finally, this back piece of cable housing can be removed from the cable stop back here, and it can be pulled away from the derailleur as well. And just like I showed for the other examples, these three different pieces of cable housing can be shifted to different parts of the cable, allowing you to apply lubricant to the many different sections of this cable. On most bicycles, this trick isn't really possible for cables which are for front brakes, because there aren't any sections of this cable which are exposed. As you'll see, if I disengage these brakes, there really isn't anywhere for this cable to move to, because there's no areas that are exposed. That being said, this cable is quite a bit shorter than all the others, which means that friction isn't quite as big a factor, so keeping it lubricated isn't quite as important. Anyway, that concludes my tutorial showing my technique for lubricating cables on a bicycle. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comment section below, and thanks for watching.